just get everybody in their seats. We do want to get started. Just a couple of reminders before and while you're making your way to your table and your seats. If you have not already got yourself a bidder number, please check in at the front desk and make sure that you've got one of our neat little key panels and it's got a number on it. And that number is your key all night long, no matter whether you're bidding in the silent auction or whether you're bidding in a live auction or just fanning yourself. Does anybody want to win a Jaguar? Uh, does anybody want to win a Jaguar? Well, we got about half the folks who want to win the Jaguar. How about the other half? All right, if you don't have your tickets yet, you need to see Leo right over here in the corner on the other side of the Jaguar, and uh, he will fix you up, okay? Because uh, we're going to draw for that beautiful Jaguar XJ8 uh, before the evening is out, and somebody is going to be able to uh, drive that thing away. Hopefully, one of us, right? Okay, let's see here. I still need a few more people in your seats before we get started, because we've got some special things to show as we get the show underway. Very important. We will give you instructions a little bit later on which tables to go to eat first and what order and so forth. And again, make yourself at home. We have drinks in the rear. We have some uh, coffee and tea off to my right, your left. And check out all the things that we have at the silent auction. And we will let you know when we get ready to shut down the silent auction beforehand so you can rush over there and get your final bids in. But later, that's a little bit later on in the evening. Also tonight we've got the citizen of the year we're going to be talking about, the organization of the year. And i got to tell you, we have got a special entertainment act for you that's going to blow you away tonight. Really. Isn't that right, Neil? That is right. Well, with that said, I'm going to have uh, Neil Brennan, the uh, director of our Key Center Foundation, come out, and uh, we're going to have our blessing to kick things off, okay? Thank you, Dennis. Wow, great job. You know, when people discover that there's a key training center known throughout the nation right, as one of the best facilities for education and residences and uh, social accomplishments and career placements for the developmentally disabled, they often ask, what is the reason for that success? But I tell you what, that reason is in this room right now. It's all of you guys, okay? Somehow the idea to treat these remarkable men and women who are developmentally disabled with love, kindness, dignity, and respect, it got plopped down right in the middle of a community that has never failed to give its support, its compassion, and its love. And I tell you, I cannot thank you enough for being here tonight and I'll tell you how much we appreciate it. This is such an important celebration for us. This is the 33rd auction that we've had to kick off the run for the money. Okay, and this is the time, this is the time when we tell our story to everybody. Not just the people here, not just our families, we tell everybody. Okay, it's in a time for them to hear the funds we raise are critical. But the message is even more important as we tell of the lives that we change here at the Key Training Center. So I want to thank you all for sharing this and becoming part of our family. We want to give some special recognition always to people who have made it a point to be here tonight. Of course, we always like to, to uh, give a little nod of appreciation to the elected officials that's came, uh, elected officials that have come. We have Susan Gill, our supervisor elector. Susan, where are you? Yay! She's always behind us. Thank you so much, Susan. Now we have uh, our county commissioner, Scott Carnahan. Scott, where are you? Oh, back in the back. Okay. Wonderful support, Scott. You would never let us down, and we really, really appreciate it. 
We would like not all of our board of directors have been able to make it tonight, but we do have some here, and we want you to make sure that you know them and that um, they know that, that you know them, so you can come up to them and ask them questions if you want, or just say, hey, thanks for playing this role and this important role. We have Carolyn Zamanik. Carolyn, where are you? There she is. She's standing there. And we have Phil Royal. Phil, he's walking through the drinks and wait, wait, wait. businesses that, that make all of this possible, especially events like this, we call our key partners. And we want to recognize those that are here tonight and are, are um, so critically important for a lot of our fundraising and our financial support. We have FDS Disposal. Where are you guys? Okay. All right. They're down here. Okay. Our radio station, WYKE. Are they? Here's our table for them. Okay. And then we have YKETV. Those guys are working. We got them working hard over there. Dex Imaging. Where are our Dex guys? Over there. Wonderful. Good to see you. Lasseter Wear. Where's my Lasseter Wear people? Okay. They were, I, I think they're around, okay? But Lasseter Wear has been a key partner for many years, and we really appreciate it. Labels. I saw labels, and I saw some of our, I got a lot of those people working here in the interior. And the Chronicle. We got them in the middle here. Where are we? recognition to some other uh, groups and some pe people who make all this possible. We want to thank our Sheriff's Department and uh, who do so much to make our run possible. And I know we've all heard the story about when we finally had to tell Chet, no, you're not going to make this run. We're going we're to get some, some people to do this. And people said, will it still continue? And our Sheriff's Department said, without a doubt, it will continue. And they have never let us down. And we really, really appreciate it. Want to give a special thanks to Brian Mahato. Brian, where are you? He's the one who is headed up this year. Super guy. Okay. And this is a chore. I tell you what, I've been out there on the road with them, not running, just watching them, and it is amazing what these guys do. But also want to thank Brian's son, Michael. Yeah. He goes out there with them and keeps his dad on it. All right, we have some other runners here. We have Phil Royal and Chris Molly. Phil and, Ro and Chris, these are kind of like our, our, our dynamite duo here. Uh, they have been making this run and bidding out there on the road and supporting this run, and we just can't thank you enough. Now, Marilyn Dennison, and I don't know, she's working with our clients back there for the entertainment. She's, there she is, Marilyn's back there. She's one of, one of our runners, too. Okay. So just remember that this is all, we're putting them out on the road on Monday morning at 5.30 in the steps of Tallahassee, and for the whole week, these guys and these runners are going to be telling that story and making their way back to Lakanto. So on that Saturday, July 18th, we want to welcome them back, and we want to say thank you for representing us and for telling our story. We also have another different, uh, something fun with our Jaguar seals. Okay, now this was like one of those gifts to people. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have fun with this one. And we did, we had a lot of people say, this is my car, I'm going to have it. But I do wanna give kind of a special recognition to one person and, and actually his wife too that sold the most tickets and that's Harry Cooper and, and Kate. even more special is they sent, sold them to the veterans that, that are in their organization and nationwide and we, they kept on coming in and bringing us these tickets and these were from people from all over the United States that not only wanted to win this Jaguar but they wanted to be a part of the key so Harry thanks for spreading that word and making that possible 